onto what has been going on on them social media streets and let us begin with some baby mama drama now mr seed's baby mama came out and was allegedly saying that mr seed has neglected his duties as a dad that he is not coming through for the kid in whatever way like he is just not in the kids life and the lady uh liz sonia was saying that you know what i am not even able to cater for this son of mine by myself he she really just wants mr sid to come through because apparently according to her mr sid is doing absolutely nothing not financially not physically like he is just not there i don't have any other words for this i don't have seen him only by the way mimi my letter to story you guys are familiar with the song Nakupenda we Nakutaka we eh kwako sijiwezi Oh my love. Well, if you know that song then you definitely know the artist who sang this particular song and that is Tanzania's J Melody. Now J Melody uh during an interview with um Zazi William Tuva mentioned that he has been writing songs for some artists and he mentioned that he wrote some songs for Willy Pose as well that is the song Jiwa that we all love by Willy Pose and Nandi and also Hallelujah by Willy Pose and i'm seeing Kenyans on the comments wakisema oh kumbe acha Pose kumbe si talented even i'm like relax take a chill pill kunywa maji kidogo imagine artists wanaandikiwa wangwa nyimbo all over the world Akina Beyonce, there are people who write for them sometimes. So it's, it doesn't mean that an artist is not um, talented when they don't write their own songs. Sometimes you need inspiration from someone else. And then it's all about the delivery. They deliver this song. So come on, guys. Willie Pose remains talented. Whether he has songs that was written, that were written by someone else or not, he is talented. And this is something that happens in the industry. Hallelujah. On to yet another story that has been making rounds on social media with Kenyans hating guys. Is that all we know how to do? Anyway, The Real Housewives of Nairobi is finally here. The trailer is out and it will be premiering later this month. And you know we've been introduced to this beautiful, amazing five ladies who will be representing the country, by the way. And you guys are there in the comments. <laughs> are you guys usually paid to just speak the way you speak? Because where? Come on, guys. Let's just give them a chance. You guys are saying they're not the wealthiest. Do you think the wealthiest of the wealthiest would want to be in a reality show? So at least we have people in there and they are ready to give us a show and we are ready to watch it and support it. What any queen compare na real housewives of Beverly Hills, come on, our economy at Jafika Uko. So please, let us enjoy this show, watch it, critique it the right way, not just bashing Rata to Jawatch. We run this city, period. You're more Kenyan than all other Kenyans. Najari Musana. Who said I'm bringing drama? I brought the shade. All right, away from the Real Housewives of Nairobi, we head over to our very own talented BN. Now, we know that um, video that uh, surfaced where BN was, you know, there. There's this fan who was dancing, Apo, Akim Dancia, and then the wife came and was mad. We saw that. We actually aired it last week. But then again, BN came out to defend himself and also defend the wifey because that is what a good husband does he defends the wife at all costs whatsoever <laughs> and bn was there defending the wife kisema chiki was acting as a manager at that time you know chiki is bn's manager so chiki was just acting as a manager she was acting as a manager and she was making sure before the her artist gets on stage, he's in the proper mindset, ajasumbuliwa namtu. But then again, BN being BN, alisema uyo dem, akimona chana swingine as yogope ku come through. Within the right circumstance, akuje tu bado. 
Now, there's this story that has really made me feel some type of way because how does a whole entire superstar do this? You know? What I mean is Oxlade, the Kulosa hit make Kumbia Mana sneezo. <laughs> so now Oxlade has been charged or rather fined for um, putting out a steamy video of an ex. And this lady went ahead and charged, you know, and charged him and, um, well, Oxlade is supposed to pay 1.4 million Kenyan shillings in total for spoiling the reputation of this girl. Why? Why? Why would you do that? What you gotta do?